everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So for us, the start of September marks another year in our house. We actually moved in on the 31st of August, 2018. So we have lived here now for just over two years and I didn't know whether to do an updated house tour, but I watched my one from last year when I did the one year update and I've realized how much we've done since then. We did have more plans, but obviously coronavirus happened, um, so our plans have been on hold for a bit, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what our house looks like now, give you a bit of an update, you can probably see some changes in the background, and if you're new to my channel, maybe you've stumbled across this video, um, if you go back over to my channel, there's a whole playlist of the renovation of this house, what it looked like this time last year and other updates as well so i'll leave some links in the description box below for that if you like this kind of video then please give it a big thumbs up and i'd love you to consider subscribing to my channel it's completely free and we would love you to come and join us over here so let's get started on the house tour so when you come in, this is our hallway porch area. You're going to see <laughs> how I'm usually dressed in videos, like party on the top, comfort on the bottom. So please excuse the jogging bombs. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is our front door. The back of it is painted this really lovely blue. And then we have this huge mirror from the range. We have three of these in the house and I just love them because they make the space look bigger. Um, they just reflect loads of light and I love them. Um, we always get asked about our floor as well. The tiles were from Walls and Floors. Um, I think they're called the Antique Blue Tiles or something like that, but um, we still really, really love them and they run all the way through the hallway, which I'll show you in a sec. And then if I do a little turn here, we've got a plant and we've also got um, this really lovely mirrored frame, which looks a bit like a window. This was from Home Sense years ago, um, but I just like the fact that it matched the door. And then I just, as I said, I quickly watched my previous video and saw that the stairs, we had started panelling them last year, but we hadn't painted it. So the plan is still to change this carpet, something we've not got around to doing in lockdown. This has all been painted and we also do want to put photos up the stairs. Um, probably like black and white, something like that, in black frames. But again, it's something we haven't got around to yet, but I do love the panelling that we have. Um, so if we go through here, this is, we call it the hallway, but it's actually quite a large space. You could have a dining table in here if you wanted to. And again, since last year, we have panelled it. Um, the paint colour now, I'm going to forget what it is. I'm going to have to put it in the description box below. It was one of Farron Ball's new colours last year, um, but it was colour matched, so I don't think it's the exact same shade, but I really like it. It's coming up a lot lighter on camera, but we wanted to do something blue instead of grey or really dark um, to match in with the tiles, which we weren't obviously going to change. And I just like it. I think it's a really nice colour. Um, we've got some pampas grass here in this lovely vase from... That was also from the range. You can just about see that it's got this really nice detail on it. The pampas grass is real. Um, I just foraged that myself. <laughs> and then the ones around it were actually from Home Sense. Then we still have this little bench with the cushion, which is just a really nice place to put shoes on. Um, we got a shutter as well, which we would love to get on all of the windows. This is the only shutter we have. And we got it in here to just test how much we really liked them and if they were worth the money. And I definitely think they are. And then we've got this plant here, um, our little clock. And then we want to put um, a big frame up here. Still haven't got around to doing that. And then we've got the dog bed there. Everyone asked where this was from. I'm sure it was from eBay years ago, the little wicker bed. These little um, set of three frames were from the range. So was that mirror. Um, and this console table, I believe, was from Amazon. And then we've got a coat and shoe cupboard here. Um, crafts cupboard for the kids and games and stuff and a very messy under stairs cupboard. Um, I will try my hardest not to talk through everything in this much detail because this video will be so so long but anyway our kitchen is through here you may remember if you did watch our first renovation vlogs that we renovated it from scratch and um, so we had these built-in cupboards put in around our American fridge freezer this is, I think, a new addition since my last video. This is just a little wooden butcher's block, which I think we got from Argos, but it's just really handy for extra pre like preparing space, you know, when you're making food and stuff. Oh, and also this metal 
bin which is a normal and recycling bin from Next. Um, and then if we just spin around, this is what the main part of our kitchen looks like. We've got our washing machine and dryer over there. <laughs> um, our boiler's in this cupboard. And then, yeah, it just, it looks like this. It's a dove grey kitchen, it was from Benchmarks. We have a few, well actually we had mint coloured accessories in here but I've switched them out a bit so that's actually really the only mint thing in here now. Um, but this is just what our kitchen looks like. I really love the colours, excuse the stuff in the sink. This is my favourite area. Um, the shelves I get asked about a lot were from B&Q, different plants are faux and they were from Ikea and I've just collected little bowls and things. We don't really use the things that we have up here if I'm honest. They are just for display. But I love opening shelving and obviously you can use the things that you put on it as well because it's just a small space we just use it as decoration and then this area I've got my chopping balls I get asked about this all the time this is a bread bin from Next and then as it's getting into the autumn spirit um, I've got the, my uh, maple praline and caramel candle burning it's absolutely huge burnt a lot of it um, it just smells so good so cozy and comforting that's by DW home which is from home sense then if we go into the living room this has changed quite a bit as well it was that this was the other way around the sofa was over there before we didn't have this unit that was done um, at Christmas just before 2020 happened but I absolutely love this piece of furniture so much my dad built it he's a carpenter so I'm very very lucky um, so I kind of designed it and he built what I wanted and I just love styling the shelves we were really lacking anything like this in here apart from our cabinet over there um, just to display things on and obviously our TV's in the middle and it mainly holds Archie's like Nintendo Switch stuff and bits and bobs um, this print I've had for a while now, it's from HomeSense, I love it. I have a similar one in um, our snug with a different, like a different colours, but I love the gold frame around it. I'm just not sure that the colours are right. So at some point I might try doing what a lot of people have done on Instagram and doing an abstract painting over it. I don't know if you think that's like sacrilege because someone's obviously created this and I'm not an artist, but I don't know. I thought it'd be a good way to repurpose it if... I don't end up putting it up anywhere. But anyway, I really love it. I'm just not 100% sure on the colours. Um, our sofas are still the same. I think I've been banging on about wanting to change the sofas for so, so long. They've really, I mean, I won't get up close to them, but they've really had their day. Um, but because we don't know if the layout of this room is going to change, we don't want to buy anything and then regret it because they're not the right size or whatever. Um, so, yeah. And then this area is our dining room area we got this new bench from next as well as the chairs which were part of a campaign that we did with them and then this whole area i love as well this is from maison du monde and so is the sideboard lots of little accessories on the top are from next um we still got our fans out from the heat wave we had a few weeks back and then this lovely magnolia flower was from home sense then this is the boys lego box which is a bit messy at the moment because archie just got more lego for his birthday and then over there we actually just put a little computer corner just through lockdown so that archie could do work but we've kind of just left it there i don't know whether or not we will move it we've got the garden through there which i'll take you out to see in a sec and then the messy area um it's not too bad in here considering two children live here but we do try and clean the top quite often but it just it gets like that most of the time to be honest and then that's their little um chair area where they sometimes eat breakfast lunch dinner <laughs> all sorts so yeah this is what the rest of the room looks like there's definitely more that i want to do in here we just haven't got round to it yet with everything going on if i take you into the room which is on the right side of our hallway this is the snug. This probably hasn't changed too much from when you last saw it. I've had a bit of a sort out of the shelves because they were just full of stuff and just organised them a little bit better. Um, I love this room. It's a really calm and tranquil space. Again, my dad built in these units when we moved in and um, it's just exactly what I wanted, really. I just have always wanted like a fireplace, like a fire um, surround kind of, I don't know what I'm talking about, fireplace um, with um, shelves in the alcove. So this was perfect. 
Then we've got our sofa, which is from sofa.com. And then we've got a few like little baskets dotted around which have the kids' toys in. Footstool, again, this lifts up. It's got throws and blankets in. And this cute little tray was from Next as well, which we just put um, the remotes in or snacks if we're having a movie night. This chair over here was also from Next. We got this um, as like um, an Excel item years ago um, but we really like it and our fire is an electric fire couldn't think of the word then so it's not a proper log burner but it's just for that kind of look um, and it's really nice and it? it's actually warm when you put it on not it's not just for the look so I really love that and then we've done this area since my last house tour um, this was from Wayfair this chest of drawers it actually arrived broken um, so we were going to get two for either side of our bed, but yeah, we fixed it up and we ended up putting it in here. We've got our Dubai print because we've visited here a few times and it's one of our favourite places. And the star is from the range. And this is my other abstract print from HomeSense. Sorry, I keep pointing and it focuses on my finger. Um, this is the one I absolutely love because it's just more of my sort of neutral colours. Um, so you can see it's the same gold frame, which is why I liked the other one a lot. But I might paint it in these kind of tones. I don't know. And then that clock over there, I'm not sure where that was from. I can't remember now. It could have been Matalan or Home Sense. And then the curtains are actually Ralph Lauren curtains, although the pole's gone a bit strange. But anyway. Oh, and then we have a little basket down here, which we just keep throws and stuff in. I'll just quickly show you the garden. Um, it was looking similar to this I believe we've um, put some lights up our plants have grown so much more since last year they're looking really lovely even though it's coming to the end of summer so some of them are a little bit dead now but the hydrangeas have grown so much um, we've got our artificial grass which has just been the best investment ever just a bit messy because of the kids toys but obviously it's their garden and they use it all the time so it's looking quite neat compared to what it usually looks like I didn't realise until I watched last year's one back that I didn't show you upstairs, I just did a downstairs house tour. So I'm going to take you upstairs now, show you again what it looks like now, what's changed. Um, let's go. I feel like I'm in cribs. Okay, so not much has changed at all up here in the hallway. We still have um, these, what are they called, Calyx drawers by I from Ikea. Um, and then we have some artwork over here. And then I'll, I think I'll take you in to Archie's bedroom first. I love his room, it's so cute. It's kind of got a little bit of a space theme going on, but kind of quite loosely. I mean, this is where most of the space stuff is going on. Um, but yeah, his room is so cute. I love both of the boys' rooms. So Fi have very kindly sponsored this section of the video. Fi are an app and website which have over 40,000 prints, but they also do homewares and accessories as well. Um, and we have some Fi prints in our home, which I absolutely love. There is so much choice. And what I love about them as well is they come framed already. So you can just put them straight up and they look really beautiful and really well done and there is free shipping worldwide as well they have actually given me a discount code which i will put up on the screen now and also in the description box below it's available for 72 hours so go and click that after this video go and have a browse they have honestly prints for every style every room every taste it's there you'll find something that's going to really make any room in your home pop. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you a few prints that we have in Archie's room and another one and stuff. I absolutely love them. So this is actually one of my favorite areas in Archie's room. This is his little Avengers kind of dressing up area. We got these um, hooks from HomeSense and he has all of his costumes on it. But we recently put these frames above it. I don't know why I didn't have anything here before because it definitely needed it. So the first one at the top um, says it's cool to be me. This is actually by Monks and Me. We have a few prints from them in Elliot's bedroom. So it's one of my favourite print brands um, and that's the cool thing about Fire. They do loads of prints from different designers and illustrators so you could probably find some of your favorites on there already i just loved the colors in this and then this world map which i just again loved it's got like a black or i think it's almost a navy background it's the world map but archie is absolutely loving doing geography at school now he's back and when he went back um 
at the end of lockdown, I know a few kids went back, and um, he's learning about all of the different continents and he's, le he's learned a song about it. So he absolutely loves this because it has all of the continents on it. And again, it's just, it's a bit of, it looks good and it's educational, which is why I love it. Um, I also saw that this print that you may know that we've had on Archie's wall here for two years, um, it's also available on fire. I love it. At the time, I think before I said that the words were in um, French, they're not, they're actually German. So thank you guys that pointed that out to me. But you can get an English one as well, obviously. But um, yeah, it's just really cute with all of the different animals um, in the different letters of the alphabet, which I just love. And then the rest of his room, he's got his little toy bag from My First Years, which says Archer on it. He's had this since he was really little. And there are so many toys dotted around. Um, get asked about this sideboard a lot. That was from Amazon, and it's probably one of our best purchases. It's absolutely brilliant and it's worked so well in here. Um, and then his bed was made by my dad, which again feel so lucky for because it's just such a great bed for storage. He's got all these books. He's got little like ornaments and accessories and loads of his toys are under the bed. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to it because he has yet more toys in the way. But the, the most clever thing was, it's too dark to see, but in these alcoves, which were just going to be wooden, um, he actually put these doors, which gave us space for all things like this, the big play sets that you can just never have, you just don't have anywhere to store. So this whole box basically here... And here is for them, which is has just been a lifesaver and means we can keep his room relatively tidy. Um, we've got this really cool space themed wallpaper. And we just recently had a gorgeous gift sent to us um, of some Sophie Allport children's um, stuff from their children's ranges. The space theme, little blankets and stuff, which I love. And then Elliot got, Elliot got some dinosaur bits. Um, and then over here... This is pretty much the same as it was. He's got his Lego, his big dinosaur, his, his bear head, um, and another chest of drawers, which was also from Amazon. And then this, which he doesn't really use anymore, it's a market, and if you turn it around, it's like a puppet theater. But it's really cute, it's from Aldi. I think they do similar things each year. Then if we go into Elliot's room, I love Elliot's room so much. Um, so this is his wall. The wall stickers that you see were from Etsy. I didn't paint them. I get a lot of questions asking if I painted them on. No way. <laughs> and they come off really easily. So, you know, if we ever wanted to change it, we could peel them all off. But I just think it looks so cool. And I also get asked a lot about the paint colour. Um, I did a whole room makeover on this room. So you can go and see the whole process. But I mix the colour myself. Don't recommend it because we now can't touch it up because it was just a colour that I had mixed. <laughs> so yeah, don't really don't do that. Um, just try and find a colour that you like already. <laughs> I'm sure most of you guys know that. Then his bedding was from Primark and the pillows were from H&M. And then over here, Elliot loves dinosaurs. So we've got quite a lot of dinosaurs and animals in his room. Um, this little unit was from Aldi. He's got another toy basket. This is one of my favourite things in the room and kind of what I based a lot of it on. Um, it was from Ikea and it's just, yeah, I love the different colours of ropes in the, the rug and the fact that it's this sort of um, um, jute material. And then over this side, he's got his wardrobe um, and he's got his little bookshelf over here. We changed that up a lot. His kitchen, his musical instruments and this little pom-pom basket, which I think was from home sense and then yeah we've got a couple of other monks and me prints in here this one needs a frame because i got this at a different time but it's probably on fire if you go and have a look they do absolutely gorgeous prints and then these little shelves were from tiger which i've painted over the years different colors and they were so inexpensive i don't know if they still do them but i love them um yeah and that is elliot's room then we have our bathroom, which again is probably one of my favourite rooms in the house. We renovated all of this. We've got the roll top bath um, and the sink and the shower. Most of the things in here were from Soak. Um, and yeah, I love it. I love the lights over the vanity sink. The mirror was from Home Sense yet again. And this really cute little shelf was from Amazon, which was such a good find. I love that there. It just really finishes it off nicely. 
sorry the extractor fans come on so that's, that's why that noise is there we also love our shower it's really really big um, it's got like a rainfall shower head I think that's what it's called um, yeah um, we still don't have a shutter in here it's ridiculous I can't believe we still haven't done that but we need to do that and then we've got the radiator this really lovely picture was from HomeSense again it's like an agate slice I can't really pick it up very well because of the light shining in and then the tiles were from walls and floors they are the Laura Ashley Mr Jones tiles I think they've been discontinued now but we really like them anyway and then this is a room which I rarely show but we're working on it at the moment um, so we've got this unit over here from Ikea and then if I spin around, we've got like an airing cupboard there. So we recently just did a collaboration with Next and this was all part of that and we absolutely love it. And it's helping us to kind of transform this room into more of a dressing room. It's an awkward room because it's a through room. So you, you can't really just use it as a bedroom or something. Um, but yeah, we're thinking of having built in wardrobes over there. I've spoken about it before, but oh, we've also got this really lovely chair from Next. This is the Oxford chair. So this room is a bit of a work in progress but it looks so much better than it did. It was just basically a dumping ground before. And another room I don't often show because it's usually a mess. I mean, the ladder's down at the moment, it's not usually. This is my office. This is another really gorgeous print from Fire. It's sort of like a beach scape, um, but it's got those soft pinks and blues in it. So I, I've put this above my desk because I just find it really peaceful. Um, and then my desk is from Amazon again, and the, the chair think might have been from eBay or Amazon I can't remember now um, and then this was from HomeSense this area is always a bit of a mess it's got returns and things I need to take back or unpackage um, but I've got my clothing rail from Maison du Monde you can't even really see it anymore and then I've got some prints on the walls um, yeah it's a little bit of a mess over there but we'll concentrate more on this area because it looks more cute and then over here again it's a little bit messy but it's just another little storage area um, this unit was from Argos I really like this and it's just got some hair accessories and bits and bobs on it so I use this as a filming room to work it's it's my office but it's kind of multifunctional as a dressing room filming room as well and then finally our bedroom I don't know how much this has changed I actually do want to change it up in here I've been saying it for a long time I just there's just too much grey um, these bedside tables I always wanted to find different ones but after two years I still in the UK cannot find the ones that I'm looking for and I'm not just gonna buy it some more for the sake of it because they can be really expensive so um, we've still got these ones they're lovely it's just I want to break up the grey and then our bed I still absolutely love it. it was from time for sleep I think they discontinued it again but um, they have similar ones on there and all our bedding I bought from Dusk a few months ago and I'd heard a lot about it on Instagram and stuff and YouTube. I definitely recommend it, it's really gorgeous bedding. Um, so I got all of that from Dusk. Um, oh, and the throw though is from Christy Home and the pillows are from random places. Still got my dressing table from when I was 18. I don't think I could ever part with it now. And there's fans absolutely everywhere still. They need to be put away in the loft. Got another mirror from the range. I like it to be quite neutral in here. I mean, I don't want to introduce any really bright colours because it's a really calm, tranquil space. Um, but yeah, I just want to warm it up a bit with some wood tones and things like that. And then we've got our wardrobes over there. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very calm room, as I said. We have got a TV in here. And then I will brave showing you in the ensuite. It's probably the only room we haven't done anything to, and I never show it, but I might as well show it because hopefully we would renovate it, possibly at some point. Um, it kind of just <laughs> looks like this. We've got a mirror up. We need to repaint the walls. Um, it has the sink that was still here when we bought the house and then it has a shower which it's not broken but we just don't ever use it which is such a shame i guess because we renovated the other bathroom we just tend to use that more and we plan to renovate in here a lot sooner than this but yeah that's that is it's such a lovely thing to have anyway so that is our entire house tour 
two years on i can't believe we've been here for two years now i really hope you enjoyed it i hope it wasn't too long but i felt like i was speaking really fast so if there's anything you'd like to know where it was from leave me a comment below and i will try and answer it um like i said don't forget to check out fire they have so many gorgeous prints um and homeware and homeware items and accessories on their website so that discount code will be in the link in the description box below um give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more home interiors videos and i will see you in my next video very soon thanks for watching everyone bye